Hello members and welcome back from this unprecedented time that we just went through. I know for myself, Catherine and the rest of the staff, we can't thank you enough for standing behind us through this time and it is so great to be back in the full swing of golf. Catherine and I are back teaching, so if you want to get on the four tees, schedule any teaching, we're more than happy to instruct you. We're keeping our social distancing while doing so, really making sure that everybody's comfortable while being out on the golf course. Today we're going to get back to our little tip of the month. Catherine's going to dictate to me her teaching philosophy as far as the short game. We both really have the same ideas as well as the rest of the staff, so listen up. Catherine's going to give you some great pointers for getting back onto the course. All right, Mark. Let's first of all nail your setup. Okay, so what we're looking for in your setup, you're favoring your weight on your left side a little bit. Yep. And the ball position's key for the difference in the height that you want your trajectory. So you want it a little bit higher, go forward, a bit lower, you want it back. I want a nice high soft one here, Mark. So what are you going to do? Let's see it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So what I want you to notice here, I want you to do that again, Mark, is where Mark comes, follows through, he kind of holds his follow through quite short. It's not, that club head doesn't get high. And that's one of the faults that Mark and I see the most, that the people go in there and they try to scoop it up and fall back. So if you try and feel that you're holding that club head low through the hitting area, lo and behold, pardon the pun, the ball drives up the, the grooves there and the spin makes the ball fly high and soft. Excellent demonstration there. Nail this technique and your pitch shots will be way better. We'll see you on the course soon. Have a great rest of your day.